Yo, what's up, guys? It's Zach here. So, um, this is the next video. I've, uh, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. So the bad news is, is that while I was prepping for paint on the rear quarter panels of the body, I realized that, um, the Bondo job that was done before was done incredibly poorly, and the people didn't prep the surface properly, so the rust that was already there only got worse, and it started to create cracks in my Bondo that I exposed the deeper I sanded. Uh, the good news is, I already did all that, so it's done and over with. <laughs> it wasn't fun at all. I dug most of this portion out right here. Anything you can see that's discolored pretty much all came out and got replaced. Um, it wasn't the most fun ever, especially right here. You can't really see it, but I, I had to come around the back side of the tail light housing and fill all this in and reshape that, so um, that hasn't been very fun. So the only help that I've been receiving recommended that I use Bondo glass because it's a little bit more flexible and it's a stronger type of Bondo substance. So I, I did use that, but what I have noticed with it is that it likes to leave behind bigger, bigger pock holes from the air bubbles and stuff like that, and it's a lot harder to sand than um, than regular Bondo, from what I'm hearing. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, that was just my uh, trying to leave in a little bit of the body line so I know what to work off of. But I'm gonna fill that in and then. Uh, get a nice line there and then redo that but um yeah so the the bondo glasses create a little bit extra work but it's getting to the point where you can't even tell that it's done so it's a little bit more fine tuning there and uh... it should be good to go But i should have some footage for you guys of me working on a lot of the body work filling it in sanding block sanding da sanding all that fun stuff so um Hopefully we get to get to the better stuff soon. I just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update so we can go from there. See you guys soon. Before I get into the bodywork videos, I got something to show you guys. I got something in the mail the other day, and I'm pretty excited about it because uh, it's one less thing that I have to get for the build, so let me show you guys. All right, guys, so this is what I got in the mail. Pretty exciting if you ask me. So I got full set of uh, dual projectors with both of the uh, side markers and a grill. So if you know anybody that needs a triple projector, hit me up. It's the right hand side. Because now I got these babies and I don't need it. I don't know if you guys can see, but it comes with a free spider. Um, I named him Larry. Um, yeah, he's in there. I thought about evicting him with an air gun, but he doesn't hurt me, so I'm just going to leave him there.
what's up guys, Zach here. I just got done doing a majority of the DA sanding on the Bondo work on the rear quarter panels of the car. Um, it's been a really long day. I'm getting ready to block sand the car tomorrow, but I'm uh, just going to give you guys a little bit of a look at what I've been doing. So, most of this is all done. I uh, filled in the antenna hole right here and then worked mostly on this rear quarter panel. It was uh, pretty much completely imploded. If you come over to this side, I started to see cracks when I sanded it down, just like on the other side. So I dug into that and then, you know, exposed more rust. So I had to get rid of that and fill it all in. The body line's still here. I didn't have to work on that at all. But on the other side, I have to completely redo the body line and do all that stuff. So not really looking forward to that, you know. But it is what it is, is what I signed up for when I decided to get a project car. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, exciting, but, uh, see you guys soon. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope I got you guys all caught up on what's going on. After I get the body lines all perfected and the rest of the small holes filled in, it'll be time for primer. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to follow along more closely, don't forget to follow my Instagram. My link will be in the description down low. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me on Instagram or in the comment section on any of my videos. Have a great day and stay safe, guys.